Howdy everyone, um, Saturday, May 17th, we'll continue our preparation and uh, today I'm working on, let's see, today I'm working on my roof rack that I built a couple of years ago and uh, it uh, held up very very well. I used commercial stain, uh, stain to stain it back when I was uh, I, I built it and um, even though structurally it uh, held up very well but the stain kind of wore off <clears throat> so I um, looked up on the internet didn't want to spend the money on uh, restaining it with the commercial stain so I was looking for homemade stain for wood and uh, here's what I came up with Okay, what's in this jar is basically a home remedy or a home uh, made stain. Basically vinegar uh, with a couple of pennies thrown it in it, um, some steel wool, some coffee grounds, and I think that's about it. And it's pretty straightforward. You just fill it up, um, cure it for, depending how dark you want it, uh, you can cure it, <laughs> I think, um, for lighter colors, anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour. This one has been curing for a few days. And uh, just a couple of, a couple of days ago, I started doing this side. And uh, as a matter of fact, here in the front, there is, uh, I don't know if it's going to be visible very well, but the left part of the front board is stained with the home stain and uh, the left side is unstained. So it seems to be working. We'll see how if it's going to last any longer than uh, conventional st stain. And I'm not even sure if I'll keep this roof rack for... Uh, for the trip, I might end up uh, replacing it with. Um, most likely, I, lo I looked around for for pre-built ones, and I kind of like Gobi styled or Gobi built um, roof rack. I'm not sure if I will spend the money. Another option, um, possibility, maybe building it myself. But I don't. I sold my welder. I don't have a welder anymore. Besides, I'm a very mediocre welder to begin with. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Well, I just noticed that my battery is dying on the camera. And I just wanted to show what I have purchased uh, for the trip to charge the electric, electrical appliances, ba uh, battery powered ones. Uh, now, all the products that I'll be covering in our preparation, um, I pay my own money for it. I don't get any uh, any products from anyone, so it's just my honest opinion. Uh, this one is, of course, Chinese made. It's called Power uh, Power Ad, A A D D, actually A D D. Um, so far, I think I charged the the phone and laptop once, and uh, it works, uh, seems to be, basically it's a, a battery pack that gets recharged by sunlight. Also has an option of recharging it uh, from the wall. Um, it has USB connection. And then there is, uh, for laptop, there is a DC out connection with uh, three choices of voltage, 12, 16, and 19 volts. So I'm going to put this camera to charge while I'm staining the, the roof rack and I'll report how long will it take uh, to charge this Sony camera with uh, um, the manufacturer provide battery it's not the uh, extra capacity battery and we'll see how long it will take and I'll report on that okay so the camera this camera um, has actually USB little dongle built in with the adapter and uh, one can actually charge it using 
USB connection to the little adapter before we stick it in. Okay, go straight to this power pack. And then I just pressing the button. I have 75% on the battery pack. Um, uh, there's a little LED indicators here that will show. So I'm going to put it on the sun and uh, we'll see how long it will take to charge this uh, this camera. I'm not sure what the rating on the on the battery itself is. How many uh, milliamps it is. But anyway, it's a standard battery that comes with the camera. And we'll see how long it will take. And in the meantime, like I said, I'll be working on staining the um, um, the roof rack with, the, with this uh, homemade goo over stain. All right, it took uh, about an hour and a half to fully charge that camera. And let's see, with the full sunlight, the battery is char uh, still shows 75%, so it didn't drain the battery pack much. And, uh, oh, one more thing, and I'll switch to a different camera now. Yeah, so it uh, came in this box, and um, you can charge the battery pack from the wall. I think I mentioned that before. But it comes with all this um, different kind of connections for, I suppose, uh, any kind of laptop, receptacles, uh, iPhone, and then of course Android and uh, um, Windows phone. I think they use the USB, but it does have all, all, all kinds of heads uh, to be accepted for I, um, Apple products. And this is it. Uh, next thing that we have uh, acquired is the vehicle DVR recording system. Uh, basically a camera, this, this particular one, uh, it says it's full HD 1080p. I'll put some sample footage. Um, I have installed it already in the vehicle. Um, also Chinese, Chinese um, build, design, I suppose. Um, it does have a GPS tracker on it, so um, when I'll be showing the footage, I'll, I'll uh, demonstrate uh, with the built-in built, built -in software that it comes with. You can actually track yourself on the map as recording progresses. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm probably not going to be making that kind of review but I will uh, I will uh, put us a, uh, a link to the guy who had an excellent uh, review on the camera and um, that basically what made me decide uh, to get one but the usefulness of it is or the purpose of it um, since it's a DVR it basically continuously recorded uh, it's plugged in into a lighter pl plug adapter and um, as soon as the vehicle is turned on it starts recording once the car gets fooled it just recycles and starts recording uh, re uh, or recording over the uh, the previously recorded stuff and uh, with uh, 32 gigabyte card that I have um, even at a full 1080p you can fit in quite a bit of f footage uh, it has ability to save a particular scene. It records um, files are uh, One can choose anywhere from one minute to five minute intervals. In other words, each file will be from a minute to five minute long and then you can uh, 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 Save that particular file so you would not get erased and it's very popular over um, in Europe and Russia is uh, in case of accident there is uh, GPS coordinates, the times, uh, 
and actually what transpired in the field of view of camera. It has a wide angle lens, so um, like I said, I'll put the, the sample footage on it. And that's, uh, but, oh yeah, um, on Amazon, and that's where I purchased it, uh, it was around $100. There's the cheaper ones, but like I said, um, by going by the gentleman's review, I found it to be uh, this particular one. I think I liked it the best. Oh, let me uh, let me demonstrate where it's actually installed in the vehicle. So I uh, installed it right above the rear view mirror. It's very small, compact. And uh, the only drawback of that particular place is the tint on the windshield kind of make it um, the color that it, uh, that uh, gets recorded um, affected by that uh, tint on the on the windshield. Um, and from the outside, because of actually because of the tint, it's basically. Uh, let me see where is it. That's where it's somewhere on there. It's not even visible at all. Of uh, um, you will have to like get in a certain angle to spot that there is something. And even then, um, it doesn't look like it's a camera or anything. And it's good for, oh, from for my thinking at least, on two fronts. First, uh, because it's uh, it's not apparently visible um, people wouldn't have a uh, or s some of the individuals out there will not be tempted um, to steal it and second if you are dealing with law enforcement um, it's not very apparent that it's uh, that that's the whole uh, ordeal is being recorded so I thought it was a it, it was a good location even though that it does uh, affect the, the color of the picture. And that is it on this DVR camera. I'm going to see if I'll... I'll there's a couple, few, uh, couple more things that uh, I have uh, acquired for the trip and uh, if I'll have time today I'll cover that. Of course I am not a reviewer so uh, one thing I forgot to mention, it comes with this um, convenient case for it. Um, it's not, it's made out of, uh, it seems to be like an artificial uh, leather look-alike material. Um, doesn't, doesn't look like it's, uh, well actually looking at it, I was about to say that it doesn't look like it's going to be very durable, but the stitching seems to be... Uh, I don't know. We'll see how long it lasts, but it seems to be... Uh, I'm not, not sure. In other words, the uh, cra craftsmanship seems to be pretty decent. Not sure about how uh, well this the, the material will stand up to use. And... Hopefully that's it. Might have to remember to mention something else. But so far it's, it seems to be a very uh, well designed and made product. So I'm just uh, working out here, spreading out my mulch and whatnot. And uh, this tree is blooming and it's really a uh, But um, just wanted to encourage everybody. Uh, uh, the technology is moving forward, and this is a video taken on the phone. And uh, one can appreciate the the beauty of the tree and whatnot. But uh, uh, I don't know where the technology is going to end up at some point. <laughs> at least at this point, there is no way to convey the. Uh, the smell, the aroma that's coming from this tree. So I just wanted to encourage everybody to get out out there 
and uh, not to sit in front of the computer TV or whatnot. Anyway. Okay, so this is a sample footage of with the player that's provided with the camera. And I'm talking about the DVR camera. Well, first of all, the player itself is uh, is not very sophisticated. You cannot it's, uh, you cannot put it uh, full screen. It's uh, limited in size, and um, the files, the actual files that um, things are recorded, they're not. There is no way to stretch it, and no way to to actually see and and choose any of that. Uh, nevertheless, you will play it uh, one after another. You can skip forward. Um, here it shows on the map um, the actual location of the vehicle at this moment. Uh, there is a speed that is shown, um, G uh, uh, GPS coordinates. All right. So um, as the vehicle. Uh, the recording goes down the road, uh, the actual GPS coordinates that's part of the file um, reflects on the, on the map. And uh, the picture itself, that's what I was talking about, the, the sky appears to be overly saturated because of the windshield tint. Um, if one is to play those files not in the player, but and I had to increase the resolution on my laptop, uh, but from actual file itself, uh, using the choice of player, and let's see, that will be on DSM. Um, playing of, of any of those files on the um, in the player does not give you the GPS. Uh, uh, the data is actually is right here in the left upper corner, including the date, uh, the time, uh, speed, um, and here it's shown actually in miles per hour, and like I said, the GPS, the GPS data. The sound that uh, uh, it records is fairly decent. You can uh, you can hear it uh, pretty well. This is just a radio playing. So this is um, just a sample footage of for the DVR camera that I was um, mentioning earlier. And uh, I think this is going to be uh, um, the end of updates for this week. So have a good one, uh, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.